Hello and welcome to another Final Cut Pro 10 tutorial. This time taking a look at how we can use compound clips to export specific ranges in a sequence. Now, uh, just very quickly, the reason my uh, short film audition is divvied up into uh, compound clips is because some of the color corrections take a long time to render. Um, and basically what I've done is I've color matched each clip so I can use an overall grade uh, just to give it a look uh, before it's more um, dynamically graded shot by shot later on. So that means that I can then go into, for instance, this audition sequence, uh, which is the audition sequence within my film audition, um, and I can play around with the audio and it will play back immediately, um, rather than me having to wait for the color corrections to render, which can lag the uh, playback. Now, one thing that a lot of people don't know is that you can actually export just this compound clip from within the compound clip, which you can obviously access by double clicking the compound clip. If you don't have to create a compound clip, um, basically you select all the clips you want to make into a new compound compound clip and you press Command Shift G, um, or you can right click, sorry, um, Alt G, Option G, my bad. Um, you can press Option G and that will uh, create the compound clip. Then from within that compound clip, you can click on Export, the share button, sorry, and let's just say Apple Devices 720p. You can see that the name of this sequence uh, corresponds to the name of the compound clip. And if we skim over, um, we can see that this is only the range of the compound clip, which makes it really easy for you just to very simply export a scene um, rather than exporting the whole sequence and trimming it down. The other way you can do it is um, I've actually got a tutorial on this already. You can um, find the link in the description for it. You can set in and out points in compressor, uh, which is something you can't do in Final Cut, but instead use compound clips. So just a nice quick tip. Hopefully this was useful. Um, just go ahead and give it a title, press next, and then choose a save location. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys soon in a brand new Final Cut tutorial.